24 year old Hannah Edelman, the current Miss Kentucky, made headlines in November when she was elected to the Covington School Board. She was elected six months after the Covington superintendent refused to renew her teaching contract. Chief investigative reporter Craig Cheatham shows us what he found in Edelman's personnel file. In this letter to Hannah Edelin, Superintendent Alvin Garrison told her that she had a lack of professionalism, poor work ethic, poor work attitude, a lack of respect for coworkers, and a failure or inability to follow policies and procedures. He cited her failure to complete records on time, disrespect of her principal, and using sick leave for a personal trip to Washington. I mean, she was elected by the voters, so she got the vote. She's part of the school board. It's just an issue her and the superintendent will have to work through. I, I just hope it's not personal, but that's an issue that they're gonna have to deal with. Longtime school board member Jerry Avery, a strong supporter of the superintendent, lost in the last school board election. I don't know if the voters had all the information that was involved, but they elected her. But I think our superintendent's tough enough to deal with it. He knows the challenges that he's up against. Garrison and Edland both declined our request for an interview. Edland insisted that the allegations against her were false and unsubstantiated. In a letter to Garrison, she wrote that her principal at Holmes Middle School was aware she was going to use sick leave for a trip. She added that the accusations were at best inaccurate or at worst an attempt to slanderously discredit an educator with whom you disagree. When the voters make a decision, we have to live with it. Avery admits he didn't vote for Edland, but he still wants her and the board to be successful. I wish her well. I hope that the school board continues to do the job they're supposed to do. And Craig Cheatham, WCPO 9, I-T. In her last performance review, Edelin was described as positive, highly structured, and an asset to the staff. Covington School Board member Stephen Gastright told the I-Team he doesn't have any current concerns about Edelin's ability to be impartial when dealing with the superintendent.